Okay, we're going to talk about motions, all different types of motions that a party can make to the court. And once again, this goes right back to what I say about a lot of the information in civil procedure, which is, if you don't like this stuff and don't really know it, the names of these motions can all kind of get garbled and mushed together. And when you look at the answer choices too quickly, without identifying which one of these motions they're actually testing you on, this can get pretty confusing. If you like this stuff and you practice and you use these motions and have, then you tend to litigate this stuff too much on an MBE question. Remember, what's my foundational point? What's the issue? Which one of these motions is this hypothetical talking about? They're generally only going to be testing you on one of them at a time. What they are going to be doing is giving you answer choices that seem to combine and give you pieces of the definitions of all of them, which again is why you get it down to two and get confused. So just be careful in the facts. Which one of these motions are they referring to? We're going to go over the basic elements and definitions of each, keep them separate from one another, so when you see them asking you specifically about this or that type of motion, you know what elements and buzzwords are going to be fitting that one motion, and you don't confuse it with all the other types that we're going to talk about, one issue at a time.